we have this pretty interesting weird news that's been on the timeline for a bit which is again pretty much you know an irrelevant story but you just might as well talk about it because people are talking about on a timeline it says courtesy of the new york post it says why are and why are anti-showering stars trying to make us stink and it says there's been a big stink over celebrity shower habits but experts say that there might be more to this soap opera than meets the eye you get it jake jillen who recently became the latest in a smelly string of a-listers from og anti um deodorant duo matthew mcconaughey and cameron diaz to modern weight to you see dirt proponents ashton kutcher and myla coolis who are freaking out fans by admitting they embrace the funk right for some reason don't i don't know why i'd assume it was a very cleverly well put together coordinated press attack by all these publicists that work with these celebrities in order to make sure that they keep their names out there because if there's one thing that a-list celebrities want is people to be talking about them because that, that would help them negotiate a higher fee for the movies that they're in and to make, make people watch the movies that they're in blah 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 <coughs> so for sure <clears throat> I don't think this is by chance. I think this is for sure some sort of coordinated attack. And now we've all been inundated, us being the, you know, um, regular average average everyday people we've been inundated with information we clearly didn't ask for and we clearly don't want and now we're questioning our own washing habits vis-a-vis -vis these rich and successful people who for whatever reason think that not showering for a couple of days is okay because you don't look or seem smelly it's just like i don't know um maybe it's a white thing i don't know but we continue it's a quote here it says more and more i find bathing to be less necessary said jake gyllenhaal 40 when he told vanity fair last week his aromatic admission came virtually unprompted which is again more sense that there was a coordinated attack as the outlet had asked about his experience in nyc as a water town all tied to gyllenhaal's appearances and prada's ad for the luna rosa ocean fragrance so imagine the juxtaposition and the insanity of a, uh, an a-list movie star deciding to announce in an interview that ties in with him being the face of a fragrance for one of the most storied fashion houses in the entirety of fashion in prada and then let it be known that he thinks bathing is not necessary like what i really can't i, I don't know i just don't know um it continues says what emboldened celebrities to share the advice on bathing rituals or like therefore um the annals of digital media point to monday um sorry may 9th 2019 when a viral origin tweet by aussie culture critic sophie wiener who doesn't think it's gross to skip soap on most body parts i don't know how what people do then um wiener proclamation proved to be contentious with more than 10,500 retweets perhaps not coincidentally taylor swift 31 revealed on ellen just a week later that she doesn't wash her legs in the shower imagine being a as tall as Taylor Swift is, who allegedly is anywhere between 5'10 and 6'2, being a woman who's about town and usually wears a lot of long, short dresses and shit, right, to show off the legs. You know, you're about in heels and whatnot, and just walking about and doing whatever you're doing and not washing your legs. Wouldn't you think that the one of the longest surface areas of your body would gather up some levels of dirt over the period of a day or even a week? Like, I don't know, some of these people are legitimately insane. And again, it's not saying, you know, I understand some white people get a bit weirded out when you go to like a black person's house and they've got a, a washcloth or they've got a loofah because, you know, it's just a different thing that people tend to use when they're bathing. But I understand not everyone wants to maybe scrub their skin with something so coarse and maybe there's some fillers, there's some kind of scientific thing behind it that's not necessarily necessary. I get that argument. But the idea that you wouldn't want to just put a bit of shower gel or a bit of soap in your hand and just cover your body is just wild because for whatever reason, it's okay to put soap on your hands when you're washing it. But then it's, if some people think it's weird not to put it on your body. It's like, why wouldn't you want to have some level of soap that can take away some dirt? or whatever or just even for it's just for your mind i don't know i don't get it um it continues says one day uh one day after swift confession professional yeah we don't care about what that yashi ali guy said he's a knob however the dirt the dirty or, or not debate riddled Try to dribbled out until Twitter user da, 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 launched a now viral confession on March two twenty third, when she said I only started washing my legs after the white people don't wash their legs discourse. The Twitter admission garnered more than forty four thousand likes and fifteen fifteen thousand six hundred retweets. Since then, stars like Jen Hall, Kirsten Bell, and Dax Shepard have proudly come forward to unshower praise of status, um, pioneered by baby wipes legend Brett Pitt. 
Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's not go there. The movement has become so strong, in fact, that some stars have been forced to come forward with their defense, um, saying, I'm not standing, I'm not starting trends. I shower, trust me, said Jason Momoa, a micro man. And then, um, obviously, The Rock had to stay as well, says he washes because he works out a lot. But the one I think was the most concerning was probably the Mila Kulis one because everybody else, you know, they're just nasty adult whites you know it is what it is but if you've got kids and you're doing stuff like this like you might deserve a bit of a knock on your door from the child protection services mate it says here Mala Kuna say Ashton Kutcher right it says on the Duck Shepherd podcast I'm Jay Expert with co-host Monica Padman that Mala Kuna's 37 came clean about how she wasn't that parent that bathed in my newborns considering kids shit and vomit all over each other i think there's a viral video that's going around Twitter at the moment of this girl talking about her nie her niece right i think her niece is a girl little girl and it's a toddler basically and basically you know speaking sar sar sarcastically about um the kid shitting and pissing all over the place and as she's speaking about it in a kind of jokey manner the kid starts vomiting profusely out of its nostrils and mouth right and that's just a standard thing that kids do, right? They piss and shit and vomit everywhere. It's just, I guess it is what it is you do when you're a newborn. So to have a newborn baby and it's a piss and shit and vomit all over itself and for you not to bathe them just seems insane. What are you doing? You're just wiping away the vomit and hoping for the best and what? Washing his face? I don't know, man. These people are nasty. It continues. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. She wasn't a fan of washing newborns of children, Wyatt Isabel and Dimitri Podwood. Portwood. What kind of names are these, man, for two kids from the same family? Wyatt Isabel and Dimitri Portwood. You'd think they were adopted, didn't it? It's like, wow. Anyway, husband Ashton Kutcher 43 then elaborated if you can see the dirt on them, clean them. Otherwise, there's no point. And this makes me so frustrated because I remember when I was in, that's probably one of the best things about growing up in the hood and going to like a normal shitty school in the ends is that you quickly get to realize if you're a smelly kid or not. People tell you it doesn't matter you know if you got money or what and i was a smelly kid so i think this is why it's so kind of triggering to me and i was told under no circumstances i shouldn't wear certain shirts and i didn't put deodorant you know people let me know when i stunk so i think when i got into the point when i was able to look after myself and i was interested in girls and i wanted to impress and whatnot i took it really seriously my that's the one thing that i knew i could control i didn't have much money i couldn't buy the best clothes i couldn't take them out to amazing dates and shit right but the one thing i could was be able to present myself in the best way possible whether it was getting a shape ups and making sure my two tracksuits that i had were always washed or the couple of t-shirts that i liked to wear i never wore them during the week right i did whatever i could to make sure whatever i had was of quality or I would present myself in the best way possible and i couldn't imagine ever especially at that time as well imagine when you're younger most of the time i'm always right you're always running i don't know why when you're a kid you're always running you're always sprinting for buses sprinting for to, to find your friends you just i don't know you're always running so imagine at that age telling yourself that you're only gonna wash when you see dirt on you how about if you don't fall down and you just keep sweating is that does that mean you don't you don't wash yourself like i don't know man it's just an insane place to be but then it also makes sense because who's ever gonna tell ashton kutcher or my lacuna that they stink Who's ever going to say that in their life? No one. Do you know what I mean? They're legitimately paying for people's mortgages and putting people through school based on their talent of acting and being able to be an entertainer. No one's ever going to tell them that they smell. They're going to put up with whatever woo-woo shit that they do and just keep it moving. But it's just sad that the kids have to suffer off the back of this and they think it's normal for their kids. They think it's, they're going to think it's normal growing up that it's okay to just wash when you see dirt. It's just like, oh. Their meme worthy comments spawned several viral responses when Kutcher and Millie Kulis walk into class. Oh, kids walk into class. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, grime is sure sign of. But yeah, I don't know. I don't really get it. Um, you know, white celebrities are just doing what white celebrities do. Um, what they say here, this is white people again. This is Kirsten Bell and Dax Shepard. They said, I'm a big fan of waiting for the stink submitted kirsten bell 41 imagine these are grown people with kids i'm a big fan of waiting to hear what that's why sometimes you oh, i don't know i don't know man I, I, imagine looking as good as these people look right as in aesthetically and not going to step above and just looking after yourself and having a bath and using better fragrances and showering yourself every day why wouldn't you do that if you've already got such a good base like why it's just such a waste of um good genes it's just like i don't know man these people are insane but again maybe it's a white thing i don't